But first at five, a small local invention is making a big impact in the world of medicine. Two San Antonio physiologists have come up with a machine that's helping doctors diagnose critical patients. Wendy Rigby is here to explain. The machine is called an oximeter. It's a breakthrough way to measure oxygen levels in the blood. One of the men who invented it is from San Antonio and works at the UT Health Science Center. He never dreamed his idea would have such an impact. Much of the equipment in the cardiac catheterization lab at University Hospital is bulky. The work here is extremely high-tech and precise, diagnosing life-and-death heart problems. But one important test is a lot easier and faster than it used to be, using the oximeter. We weren't really setting out to do anything practical. We just wanted to understand what happens when you shine light through blood, and that's the principle of measurement here. Here's how the invention works. A nurse draws blood into a syringe and then injects it into a tiny sample chamber. That chamber is inserted into a slot. The device shines light through the blood and computes how quickly each wavelength is absorbed. It takes less than 10 seconds to get the results. Immediately, doctors know the hemoglobin and oxygen levels in the blood, helping to pinpoint heart and respiratory problems. The old machines were bulky and slow, but Dr. Shepard's smaller, faster version has helped, especially in the area of pediatrics. We use a very small amount of blood, and therefore the babies do not suffer much blood loss during the procedure. With more than 600 oximeters in use, Dr. Shepard's San Antonio invention is having a worldwide impact for intensive care and heart patients. He calls its success gratifying. These oximeters are used in hospitals from Honolulu to Boston. And as a basic scientist, I never dreamed that uh, the things I would stumble into would be of immediate practical use. The oximeters are manufactured in San Antonio, and they cost about half as much as those bigger, bulkier machines. And Dr. Shepard is now working on a smaller device, like a pocket-sized device, that they could take to all these on-site blood drives. And that way they could uh, test right there on site and see if the donors are anemic or not, because that's one of the concerns when they take these blood drives yeah. out into the field. So it's a nifty little invention. He started with lab rats. Now it's used <laughs> now all over the world. That's great. Thanks, Wendy. Churchill's volleyball team headed towards a possible state title. Dan's up next with sports.